So now in this video, we're going to look at this integrated circuit, which the part number is right there. And we will zoom in here. And what we have here are four NAND gates. So three pins there are for each NAND gate. We have an input, an input, and then an output. You can see the output goes to the LED to the protective resistor. It's a one kilo ohm resistor. This integrated circuit cannot handle very high amounts of current, so we're keeping the current down. But in any case, you can see that the LED is on. And then the next three pins are another NAND gate. We have the negative power jumper there, positive power jumper there to the VCC pin. That's the ground pin. And uh, next three pins down is another NAND gate and the next three pins down are another NAND gate. We're only going to use one NAND gate in this video. So you can see the output is on right now. The output is high. We know that because the other side of the LED, the cathode, remember LEDs long lead the anode, goes towards the positive side of the circuit. Short lead the cathode goes to the negative side of the circuit when the LED is on. Now we're going to take, this is a one kilo ohm resistor, but I don't think any currents actually flowing through, so I don't think the value really matters. I'm going to put that to the positive rail there, and then to one of the inputs there. So now we have a high signal to one input, but still a low signal to the other input. So I'm going to take this resistor, and it's going to the positive rail, and when I plug it there, you see the LED went off. And so now we have two high signals to the inputs both of the inputs have a high signal and the output is off so that's why it's a NAND gate an AND gate takes two positive signals to turn the output high so two high signals to get a high output if only one of them is high or both of them are low you have a low output but with an AND gate, you need them all high for the output to be high. With the NAND gate, it's the exact opposite. You need all the inputs high for the output to be low. So now, one little problem with uh, doing it similar to the way I'm doing it. You'll see if I slowly pull this out. So it's out all the way now. The output is still low, but now it got higher. So. We don't want that. We want as soon as I lose connection with with that there, then it turns on automatically. So we're going to take a couple 10 kilo ohm resistors, and that's why I have this jumper up here to the negative rail, and we're going to put that to both inputs. One to that input there. So there's a lot more resistance here. But what it will do is when we yank one of the other resistors out, so to each pin we're putting a 10 kilo ohm resistor so that once we get the slightest disengagement then it goes right to a low voltage there. So there you can see it's as soon as I disconnect this at all the LED suddenly turns on. So in any case I just thought I would quickly do a video on that integrated circuit. I was digging around through my parts. And uh, I'll try to think of more interesting circuits for this. And maybe make up a diagram on NAND gates and circuits that uh, work with them. But in uh, any case, thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video.